to the ride. There are actually two parts to this ride that I'm going to cover. There's the line, and there's the actual getting on the truck thing and riding around ride. But it's important to go over the line because out of all the rides at Disneyland, this has got to be the only ride that has a line that could be considered part of the ride because it's just so long. And the Imagineers at Disney, they did a big spectacular job for keeping people entertained as we wait in line. So, here we go. First off, let me just tell you, this line is like one of the longest in Disneyland. Um, you could end up waiting in line for a very, very long time um, unless you get a fast pass. Yes, boys and girls, they give fast passes for this ride, which is a blessing because... You don't want to wait in line that long. But the only problem is is that only fast passes you past like a third of the line. You still have to wait for the other two thirds. So, but I guess it's better than nothing. So, if you go to Disneyland, you want to get on this ride, get a fast pass. And I've talked about fast passes before. So, if you don't know what they are, go look at my other videos. All right. So, get the fast pass. If you can't because it does go out very soon you're out of luck my friend and we'll just have to wait in line but it's worth it worth the wait um usually the line can be up to an hour and a half long that is by far way better than it used to be because i remember first time we ever got on the ride was like back in the 90s and we had to wait in line like three hours but no joke like two and a half three hours it was very long um so starting off with the line the first part that you only have to wait in if it's a busy day at Disneyland is outside, out in front of the temple. So you're going to wait outside in front of the temple. And outside, you're going to see a car out there. It's actually from the Indiana Jones movie, the first movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So go take your picture by it. It's one of the ones Indiana Jones jumps onto when it's racing around in the desert or something. So that's from the first movie. So that's interesting. When you're done there, that's the first little third part of the ride. And you're going to go into the actual temple. The first part of this, you're walking around inside some um, close corridors and stuff. You're not in there very long. Usually this part goes by fast. And it, it's kind of dimly lit. Don't let this scare you. It's okay. You're going to be soon getting into a big hallway where there's plenty of light. The, there's no roof above you, so you have the sun and all that and whatever. So... After you're done with that part, you go into this this long hallway with all that. And then you're going to end up going into caves. This big cave thing with signs saying, beware of bats. And there aren't real bats in there, don't worry. But they have little fake eyes looking like bats in there. Then once you get past that, you go through these caves. You're going to come to this little hallway. It says, please don't step on the eyes on the floor. Well, you know everybody's going to do that anyway. It's not a big deal. It doesn't do anything. And there's also going to be spikes on the side with skeletons and stuff. Now, back in the day when they first opened this ride, this had a big bamboo pole that when you shook it, the ceiling would start to come down and it would freak people out really bad. Loud noises, it would come down like that. They have since either somebody complained about it and gave somebody a heart attack or something, so that doesn't really work like it used to. It used to be cool like great now it's not you move it it kind of goes and it barely even does anything so yeah you can go ahead and see if it still works sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it just depends on what it feels like i guess but anyway so you go out of that disappointment room which was once a glorious thing in the ride you go past that you go into this room it's supposed to be like an excavation room now this is set up so there's a long place where people can wait in line but then, half the time, you can just bypass this room. They just lead you into the next one. But if you get to go through this one, it is cool because they have a well. And supposedly, if you pull on the rope, there's a voice that will trigger and somebody will sound like they're down in the well and they start talking to you and they say different lines. Now, the only thing is you're going to need somebody really strong to do this because I've tried it and other people I know have tried pulling on it. You've got to get a pretty good grip and pull as hard as you can to make the thing talk because it's very hard and it doesn't work sometimes and it, get, it gets frustrating when you're trying to pull the rope and people are yelling at you to keep going in line anyway so the next room after this room is a room where you get to watch little slide projection movies 
And one of these is done by John Reese davies the guy that was in the first Indiana Jones movie and the third one, I believe. He was the sidekick of Indiana Jones. He narrates one of these and tells you what some of the safety things are on the ride, what you should, shouldn't do, and makes jokes about it. And then the other one with Slideshow talks about what the ride, um, the story behind the ride. Now, there's this big long spiel on the internet talking about all the different things about the ride and um, the, the back story, and I never even heard of half of that stuff on the ride. They say you can hear it or if you, you can read about it and stuff like that. I'm like, I've only heard about some of that. So I might read that here in a minute, the, the back story of it, but you get some of the gist of it off of this newsreel. So once you exit this room, oh, it's really dark in that room. That's probably the darkest room because you have to see the thing. Plus, there's a sign, an Eeyore sign up at the top if you get somebody to show you because Indiana Jones Red was built in the old Eeyore parking lot. Interesting fact there. Next room is a little side thing. It's not a very big room. And it's got a little nook cranny in the side that looks like a place where somebody could be working, like a little work room sit down and write some stuff like Indiana Jones is writing in there and it's got some old music playing there on a recorder or something. After that you're gonna go into this hallway and you're gonna hear the ride actually and you're gonna go around and you're gonna see people getting on the ride but you are not on the ride yet you still have to go upstairs and back downstairs and if you're in a wheelchair you still have to go upstairs and downstairs to do this. You will have to get in the elevator, go upstairs, roll a little bit to the next elevator and go back downstairs again. It's very time consuming. I know because I went with somebody in a wheelchair once and it was time consuming and I think it's going to be fun and it's just kind of boring and confusing. Anyway, so that is the line for Indiana Jones. This is the actual car that was in the Indiana Jones movie. If you the... look really close you can see Harrison Ford's fingerprints. Oh, oh, Dad. This is just one side of it. In case you're wondering where it is, if you come to Disneyland, it's right out front, in front of the Indiana Jones ride. But Harrison Ford really did. This is one of the ones from the... Wasn't it the first movie? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was the first movie that he was riding on, and he fell under it or something, and then he came back out. Yeah, so there it is. Money that people are throwing in their dad. <laughs> Dad's trying to make money into that thing right there. Oh, go Dad! Jesse, don't touch that. You'll die. I said you'll die. What, weren't you listening to that part of the conversation? Guy with the hat in front of us. We're still outside. Take it forever. Okay, that was 20 minutes just to go through the outside part. We just came, went inside. We, we just got inside and we're going through this part now. Did you hear the spade? Did you hear the bats? Yes. Water fountains for our convenience. Here's the cave part. You know how many layers there are to this, to this line? At least we're walking now. I remember once we, oh no, 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 we're being stopped. Watch your step. The elevator.